find it weird to be giving them workouts and not. At first, before I gave them workouts, I thought maybe I'll try to match them. I'll try to go on their thing. <laughs> and then I thought I don't even have time for that. So um, I'm welcome to the real world, but I um, I think what I'm doing now is harder than it was just to get on my bike and ride. And so I'm doing lots of different talks. I'm working with some companies out of Idaho, Blue Cross of Idaho, with the, which is you know the health insurance. It's great. I get to go across Idaho and do different rides to promote wellness um, to their <coughs> customers. I am working with the United Dairymen of Idaho, and so um, I'm on billboards and commercials for chocolate milk as a recovery drink. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you can go online. There actually is a um, there's uh, links to all my um, commercials. So the latest one that came out was pretty pretty fun. It's like alluding to. Car, uh, cartoon where I'm going down the street really, really fast. You can't even tell who I am. Sagebrush is coming behind me. Windmills are going. Lizards are flying off rocks. It's pretty cool. Um, and so that's been a lot of fun. And then I'm actually going to start helping um, direct a, a women's elite team. It was formerly called Pro Man. And so we're going to be making that announcement of the new name and sponsors in about a month. And so I'm really excited because um, the top girls are all affiliated with USA Cycling and the national team. And then, so we have the top elite girls, five of them, five of them and then we have the junior girls. And so um, the number one goal for me here is to support you guys, in which instead of making an NRC schedule first, we're going to make the national schedule in Europe be primary. And then the NRC races will be used as training for the girls. And so they can come back and actually rest after coming to Europe instead of having commitments with the NRC team three days later and never being able to really perform at their top. And so first and foremost, it's the national team. And secondary, um, we'll provide training races for them. And there, there might be two elite girls, but four juniors supporting them. But our goal isn't NRC. Our goal is 2012 and 2016. Um, so I know that as I was in cycling, there has never been a program like this. And um, the sponsors are 100% behind us. There's no secrets that we won't be in America all the time and doing all the big races. So I'm really excited about that. And um, makes gym's life easier. <laughs> and um, so I just want the program to continue to be as successful as it has been for the last eight years. There's a lot of people leaving and a lot of newcomers. So um, with that, I just keep them pretty busy. <laughs> Today, actually, I'm actually down here to get some training on training peaks from Dirk and Jim. But, um, I'm also down here. I'm going to become a national spokesperson for USADA. So that training starts tomorrow for two days. And um, there's four of us athletes that are involved in the program. So we'll be going out contracting through USADA to go out and give any talk that is done across the US. So hopefully we can turn USADA into more of a positive. Because I've never been. Yeah. I've never actually, I've never, in all my years, I've never, um, there's never been an athlete that has presented USADA to me. It's always been somebody from USADA. And so I'm excited to maybe, you know, give it the story from an athlete's perspective and change a little bit of the, the views and um, make it not so <laughs> unfriendly when <laughs> we come knocking. <laughs> they're still, coming, they're still coming knocking, so. Yeah, for USADA, you guys, they're the anti-doping agency. 